What's up, Multiverse? Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. On today's video, we're going to be catching up with all my anime Funko Pop parcels. As so let's waste no time and get right into them, guys. The first two we have are actually technically under the Pop Games line, but it was a very popular anime for a long time, and there's a new anime on the way that should give it away. I am, of course, talking about Pokemon. We have both Dragonite and Leafeon added to the Pokemon collection. If you guys were wondering, with the Leafeon wave, you actually got Lapras and Piplup, and with the Dragonite wave, you actually got Caterpie and Pidgeotto. I actually still need those two. Though Caterpie and Pidgeotto are not too difficult to come by, but that is not the same story for Dragonite. Having said that though, I'm not sure all three Fungabops even released officially here in the UK. The Pokemon license in both the UK and Europe is, is just very weird, very messed up. Like, we're still waiting for loads to officially release. This wave of Dragonite, the Leafeon, the Sylveon wave. Like, the newer waves seem to be releasing in good time, but all of, like, the older waves, like... We haven't actually ever had them officially release here. It's very weird. So people have bought them from either the US or Australia, which is where I got this from. Surprise, surprise, pop culture. But I digress. This is a very, very cool figure. Dragonite was always a very, very popular character, like a uh, pseudo legendary. I think that's what he was referred to, right? Uh, Dragon type Pokemon. Just looks really cool. I like it. I I'd love it if they actually made a 10 inch one of this. Like they made quite a few of the 10 inches, but I, for me, I feel only maybe like Lapras and Charizard were like the cool ones. Like the, um, like what are we getting next? Glaceon, isn't it? And some of the other 10 inches are like they could have made other characters like Dragonite as a 10 inch would have looked so much cooler in my opinion uh, but yeah very happy to have got this for retail because I think it typically goes for like 25 30 quid um, if you're getting it from the second market and then we have the Grass Evolution of Eevee. That's actually a bit of a mouthful right there. This is, of course, Leafeon. Now, I don't know if anyone's ever done a chart of like most popular to least popular of the Evolutions, but for me, I think it would be Leafeon. It's like nothing against the character design or anything, because I think it does look really cool. I've just never been a huge, huge fan of grass type Pokemon, to be honest. Like, don't get me wrong, I loved Bulbasaur. He's like, Pokemon number one, right? Um, it, at least in the Pokedex. But uh, yeah, I, like grass types, I've just never been such a huge fan of for whatever reason. But uh, like I said, the, the design is still cool. Um, I like it. I'm happy they've made it. We're getting more kind of like Umbreon is surely going to come quite soon because he's been spotted as a uh, like a mini in the next calendar, I believe. So yeah, more evolutions to come, but some that I still have to go and grab that, as I said, we haven't had release over here yet. Then, guys, we have the next in the My Hero Academia Villains Hideout set, which is, of course, Himiko Toga. And I always have to show it off. I really do love the new Speciality Series sticker. We're still waiting for the other two to be shown off. They are just silhouettes on the back. It's obviously going to be Tomura Shigaraki. My other guess is Mr. Compress. Let me know in the comments section below who you guys think it's going to be. Or has it actually been leaked who the last two are? Uh, if so, let me know that in the comments section below as well. But yeah, here is Toga. I don't I don't know, oodling over something, probably like daydreaming about Deku, I imagine, right? I love Toga. She's the perfect combination of cute and crazy. Um, a little bit risque there for a Funko Pop, right? If you guys catch my drift, but that's kind of like a real uh, sort of anime trope, isn't it? Without going into kind of too much and getting in trouble by YouTube. Um, not really too much going on with the set. We've got some, I don't know if it's a broken mirror or a ripped poster there in the background. But as you can see, there's lots of connecting parts on this one which we haven't actually seen with the other three so yeah I'm really keen to see how this does all connect together um, I imagine it's going to look pretty cool but I guess only time will tell so just looking off to my right guys we've got seven figures maybe six because one of them is a chase chance I just don't know yet whether we've got the chase or not but they make up two franchises we've got Boruto and we've got Jujutsu Kaisen you know what let's go with Boruto because I don't really know much about these characters the first one we have here I, I know a little bit about this character we do have Mitsuki with the snake hands I know he is like the clone son is it of Orochimaru uh, so we have him there with the snake hands we then have Sumir uh, with new I 
know nothing about this character to be perfectly honest I still haven't watched Boruto just yet I do want to start it quite soon though and the last one we have here is Shinki uh, if that's how you pronounce that as well again don't know too much about the character if you guys want to check out the back we do actually have the new wave of figures there on the back there's the new Bar Boruto figure pardon me the Sarada figure with the Sharingan as well as the Baryon mode Naruto which is a very popular one I have actually ordered all the US stick uh, exclusive versions of those all of which I think glow in the dark if I'm not mistaken so that's the reason I grabbed these three commons for now and we'll wait for the exclusive versions of the other characters first up we have Mitsuki with the snake hands yeah snake yeah snake hands I was about to say snake arms there for a second uh, very reminiscent of Orochimaru like I said I don't know too much um, about these characters Mitsuki I've read a little bit more about because he is one of the kind of main ish characters right at least he's team I, I believe he's team seven right it's him Boruto and Sarada from what I understand um, and uh, I think he's one of the more popular characters right because Boruto like when you see and you know, like read things it's very polarizing but I always want to judge things for myself um, so I'll get round to watching it eventually and uh, I, I mean I'm gonna have to right if I'm gonna collect these fungo bops and know who these characters are but uh, it, it's something I definitely want to see because all of the characters that I loved in Naruto are kind of now grown up and kind of like my age right although have I really grown up I guess not if I'm still playing with toys although in my defense Fungo did use to print this is not a toy on their Fungo Pop boxes before I guess they decided they wanted to sell uh, to youngsters as well right but here next we have Shinky I just read a tiny bit I knew nothing about this character I took it out of the box and saw the sand village headband and was like oh so is this like a he, he kind of has some Kunkuro markings to me and then I looked up the character obviously like Black Sand as well looked up the character and see it's the adoptive son of Gara. so yeah pretty cool I, I think the design looks awesome like I said he kind of reminded me of Kunkuro Conquer, pardon me with like the face markings uh, as well as kind of like the hair but yeah this kind of like black sand going on the whole design looks really really cool to me I like it a lot um, yeah like I said I'm just gonna have to watch Boruto so I can learn more about this character likewise with Samir Sumir however you pronounce the name guys I know nothing about this character I've had to look her up like very briefly to see uh, Konoichi of the Hidden Leaf Village scientific ninja weapons team um yeah i don't really want to go too much into it and spoil stuff for myself i did read as well the is it new however if you pronounce that like the creature there on her arm uh seemed to be some weapon that was harvested out of hashirama senju cells uh to be like the ultimate weapon part of me uh with some kind of big rampaging beast but i guess he gets smaller and is like loyal uh, to Sumier, uh, that's just what I've kind of gathered from the very, very brief things I've read, guys. Um, but you know what? Again, it's a pretty cool pop. I like the design, the purple hair with the flower-like um, kind of bows, whatever they are, uh, down at the bottom. Even knew the creature itself looks quite cool. She's kind of got this hand stance going out. It's a pretty cool looking pop, I have to say, but yeah, definitely going to have to watch Boruto so I know more about these characters. Final four figures, guys, are all from the latest wave of Jujutsu Kaisen, although two of the figures could be the same unless we got really lucky with the chase. That is Toga Inumaki. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, I always just refer to him as Benito Flakes. Uh, but before we get to that, let's do the two-pack then of Toto and Itadori. Actually, let me show you guys the back as well because it does have the latest wave of figures, at least the common ones of Suguru, Mai and Maki, as well as Panda and Toga there as well. Uh, I, ha I, I need to order the three at the top, but I've actually ordered the, I think it was Entertainment Earth exclusive Flocked Panda. So that one's still to come in. And I think there were a few other exclusives in this latest wave as well. At least if memory serves me right, I'm pretty certain there are a few more exclusive. Definitely a Chalice Collectibles one, maybe even two. Actually, was there an, an exclusive of Toto? You know what there may have been? Uh, I just can't really remember off the top of my head. And I, and I don't really remember a huge deal about the characters. Um, if you guys watched like when I showed off other Jujutsu Kaisen figures before, particularly the first wave of figures, like it's been an 
age since I watched Jujutsu Kaisen. Season two has finally here. The first episode dropped, what, last, was it last weekend? Or is it the second episode? I can't remember when it actually starts or, or when it's airing, which day it is. But certainly the first episode, maybe in the second episode is here already. But I need to go back and watch it, man. Since I watched Jujutsu Kaisen, I've watched all 720 episodes of Naruto and Naruto Shibuden. I'm like 600 plus episodes in a One Piece. I watched all of Hunter Hunter. I watched all of Black Clover. So uh, yeah, I've watched tons of anime since that first season of Jujutsu Kaisen. So I don't remember it too well, as well as like pronunciation of character names, etc, etc. But um, yeah, I do like these ones. It's quite a cool two pack um, because like Toto, whatever you pronounce his name he um like don't they like share a love of uh is it like jennifer lawrence or something like like i always love the pop culture references in jujutsu kaisan um and it's like he kept asking these people what type of women do they like and no one kind of answered uh how he liked them and he hated them until itadori kind of said like he likes i can't remember the exact words he used um but it was exactly how toto also likes his women so he then deemed itadori his best friend like just like that uh it was quite a funny scene i, th I think this is when they're like are they like training together or something like that uh, again, I'll have to go back and watch season one. I mean, I definitely want to do that anyway before I then watch uh, season two as well as the uh, the prequel movie. I still need to catch that as well. But uh, yeah, two pretty cool figures. Do we need another Itadori? There's been tons of him when they could make other characters. I mean, I know it's still pretty cool to have a two-pack though, right? Alrighty guys, final pops, moment of truth, did we get a chase? The really cool thing is I can only see the top of the figures here in the box. Um, and because it cuts off the bottom of his face, I don't know if I've managed to get the chase or not because the chase, uh, the common is with the mask on, the chase is with the mask off and you kind of see his mouth because he has that uh, like sound curse thing, whatever it is. And I think, it, it, is it like he can speak bit like um uh what's his face like black bolt in uh in like the marvel like in humans i think that's kind of what his curse was if i remember right but i've offered on long enough let's check if we got the chase guys there we go i'm going to show you first i don't think i did at least from the artwork that i'm seeing on the back i'm peeking around no chase sticker <sighs> man oh well uh yeah so there is the common i mean it's the same figures on the back uh, as that two pack as well and it's always annoying when you order two and you end up with two commons and not that chase common combo uh, my my sister's other half he also collects these jujutsu kaisen fungo bops and he ordered just one of them from fungo europe and he actually got the chase uh very typical but it is what it is it's a one in six chance right it's not a one in two um Still a cool figure. I like this character. As I said, I always refer to him as like Benito Flakes. I love the fact that he talks in like food and like salmon and all the different variations that he said. I always found that quite funny, but he obviously has to talk uh, very quietly. As I said, I'm pretty sure it's his like curse technique is something to do with sound. And if he shouts or whatever, it's like overbearing or can even like kill uh, the person who um, is at the brunt of his vocal cords, if we can put it that way. Um, I'll throw the chase up there for you guys so you can see uh, what it looks like. I, I, I will definitely still go after the chase. Um, I just don't know if I want to order another two from Funko Europe. I don't think I mentioned it. I actually ordered these from Pop Culture a couple of weeks ago, but they did actually drop on Fungo Europe. I fear, I think it was last Friday, wasn't it? Um, and I've actually had quite a lot of chase luck from Funko Europe when when buying two. I often get sent a common and a chase, which I think is always pretty cool. Not, it's not always been the way. And in fact, the only uh, time it happened. Um, uh, or, or I should say the oh, two times I didn't actually get the chase one was with uh, Charlotte from Black Clover and the only other time where I ordered two and got two commons was with Sukuna with the heart actually um, yeah I'd ordered two of those and uh, I actually got both commons so guess I've not had great luck with Jujutsu Kaisen, right? But uh, as I said, I'll go for the chase eventually. Need to get the rest of the exclusives in, although they're all on pre-order. Just need to grab the rest of the commons. I'm not too sure if all of them dropped on Fungo Europe just yet. They may have, and if they have, I'll certainly go and order them. But yeah, can't wait to re-watch season one, watch the prequel movie, watch season two, and collect more of the Jujutsu Kaisen line of Fungo Pops. And well, there we go, guys. That is me caught up with my Fungo Pop parcel until next time i've got tons on pre-order i think i've got like over a hundred pre-orders still to come so crazy amount of fungo pops and then they're just going to release tons more we've had all the sdcc stuff announced finally earlier this week and there's a few in there for me as well but 
hey ho it is what it is that is going to do it for today's video guys so first and foremost thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the geek lounge it is very much appreciated and i hope you guys did enjoy the video if so be sure to give it a thumbs up and drop some comments below i have all the anime funko pops i picked up today which one was your favorite and what anime funko pops have you guys picked up recently and as always we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys i just said it. i've got tons of funko pop pre-orders to come in so tons more funko pops to open up here on the channel as and when they do come in then more lego more star wars we're going to get back to doing some more star wars content because it's been a little bit of a while since we've done it but we've got tons of star wars things to show off for you guys so if you're a star wars fan you're gonna want to make sure you stay tuned and then yeah as i said more lego figures statues all that jazz we like to play here on the geek lounge for you guys make sure you stay tuned for all of it and more what is the easiest way to stay tuned you ask it is very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content guys thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you on the next one peace out nerds